Welcome to the Supercharged Video Show, where I interview interesting and inspiring people right inside the Tesla. So, but I can never let it go. I just, you know, in the back of my mind, I can't just stop this. This is, is driving me. I, I have my day job. Right. My day job's a job. I need to do something innovative. I want to do something exciting. I want to do something something that nobody's ever done before. I want to do something that uh, is exciting to me on a day-to-day -day basis to create something new, to develop, work on it. You know, I love making things, and I want to do something. I have a, like, I have a job. Okay, jobs yeah. are jobs, and I, I don't want to go through life with just a job. I right. can have a job, but I also want to do something special and different. So that I brought it back out of the closet, and I found a it's back. It's, it's back. back. It's on back. The... <laughs> it's back on again. And uh, I found a sign uh, that I've, I've been importing that I've modified to make it work for me. So now I'm happy with that sign. Now I'm back to the whole find advertisers, make it work, uh, figure it out, figure it yeah. out again. It's something I. It's not. I'm not going to let go. So it's 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 back to the realization of man I've had my ups and downs but it's and I may pause I may take a step back but I'm not going to give up you know it's one of those things where you just need to it just drives you it's a passion if you will yeah no I, I mean I like it and that's you know that that's what this is like a real you know situation man I mean this is a lot of times you hear about these stories about oh someone who created this company they sold it for 100 million and it's all peaches and man it's not amazing. like that at all and this is like you know and maybe you get to that point and that would be amazing if you did um but you know this is like the, the story like as it's happening right now during yeah. the struggle yeah so you know yet it's still a you know it's an inspiring story yeah no I mean, at the beginning i thought when it blew up you know i was all over the news i was all over you know I'm going to be a millionaire, this is going to be it, and you realize that's not reality. Reality yeah. is, in the, it's in the, the grind, it's you got to figure it out, you know. Well, let me ask you this, there. you say the grind, and I mean, <laughs> do you, I think you almost have to, like, enjoy the grind, right? I mean, well, you do, it's about, otherwise, well, you have to enjoy it, it's, it's every day I have what I'm going to do for the day, it includes my normal job, and then includes one thing that I need to figure out for my side job, signoncar.com, that I need to learn, learn. I need to learn how to eat, you know, sell a, a something online. I need to, on a particular website, I gotta figure that out. And each day, it's a learning process. You cross that off. You know, Google is your friend, man. Google, I tell you and what. And YouTube. And you, and you, well, Google owns How YouTube. to fix anything, right? <laughs> Just look up YouTube. Just look it up. If you got a question, how do I launch a product, Google it, you know, whatever it is. How do you do something specific? Like, how do you... Now, are you working with, uh, because in, in a funny way, like, Google and YouTube can almost be, like, virtual mentors. They are. But, let me ask you this. Have you, do you or have you worked with, you know, real people <laughs> met mentors? No, no, well, I've, let me back up with the whole grind. I've tried to... Uh, go with Quirky. Uh, you've heard of Quirky? The, oh, yeah. The, yeah. the, what do you call it? The Kickstarter kind of a thing? Sure. No, they denied me. Kickstarter denied me. Uh, wait, 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 wait. They denied you why? Did they give a reason? They didn't give a reason. They said they were looking for other products. You know, my product was more of a business model versus a product that they were interested in putting on a shelf. Right. Quirky, that's what it's Quirky It's almost more B2B. Right. You know, my business model has kind of changed over the years, trying to figure out the business. But I've and I have come to the conclusion where I'm going to sell the signs. The signs are unique and they're going to be sold. But when back when I was trying to develop it, I was trying to sell it as a business model. And Quirky was looking for something they could put on the shelf of Home Depot or the shelf of Walmart, right? Walgreens. You know, my yeah. product doesn't go there. No, it's, I get that one. Yeah, I was more, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that one makes more sense why, but I, I, I was a little more questioning why Kickstarter They, would... You know, they, I don't, at the end of the day, they was more of a, something they just weren't interested in. They got, I got denial emails and I still get them. I just got denied from uh, a what about... Tall Wave. What's the one that Tall Wave uses? Uh, what's the name of that place? It was a... Uh... There's another one, Indiegogo. I that, tried that. that 
I tried them all. They all denied me. So I thought Indiegogo pretty much let anyone do anything. I, 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 <laughs> maybe no. I don't know what I'm doing, but <laughs> I've just been getting kicked maybe, while I'm maybe down. Maybe you need to Google how to get on Indiegogo. That that uh, is what maybe I maybe that's to do. what's going on here. And I've also sat down with the small business uh, uh, administration mentors, and you know they're not in it like I am. If I wanted to sit down with them every every month, you know, I could do that. But they're not they're not involved with it and care like I do. Of course. So I've I haven't I'm trying to find someone I could partner with that would be kind of a strategic partner that maybe has background in advertising that could actually lead me and have a vested interest in the business. I'd be more than happy to do that. You know, if they believed in the business model, they had the background in the advertising, uh, I would cut them in and we can make it work. Because the people that I work with, mentors, if you will, just don't have that background that and, and don't have the passion right, to right. be involved as much as I would like them to be. So it's been difficult finding people to, that really care. People say, that's a good idea. Good luck with that, buddy. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, cool, thanks. You know, and it's all right. Yeah. Back to the drawing board. Well, you know what's interesting, and it seems like a lot of the companies that are really successful are companies that have a team of founders, whether it's two, three people. Mm -hmm. And and maybe the hardest part is finding, you know, selling the, the, the concept and getting else, getting someone else on board who has some different skills than you do, and then you both are a more powerful team. Well, and, yeah. you know, but then, the, so then the question goes back to, well, if, you, if, you, if you're having a hard time getting someone else, you know, to buy into the concept, then maybe you need to tweak the concept, or I don't know, I mean, I'm just right. thinking out loud, yeah. you know, what, 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 what would get someone else, you know, excited to get, to get involved as well, I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out now. I, I did go on Angel's List, investors, you know, people that would be willing to invest in businesses. And it turns out those people are nothing more than trying to gain your business. Like, for example, one guy came on and, hey, I love your idea. I thought about sign on cars myself. You know, this is great. You know, I have a background in social media. You know, and it's like, okay, so... The end of the a day. background in social media. Be, oh my God, who doesn't? Right, right. <laughs> and I've got a background in breathing he, air. He just, <laughs> he just wanted me to hire him to do the social media. He didn't want to invest. He was kind of a, he was kind of a, uh, a he was trying to find a way in to sell his product versus mine. Sure, sure. So it's frustrating to find people that. Man, Dude, I'm, hold on. I've got a background <laughs> in social media. <laughs> Oh man, that's hilarious. Yeah, so what you just described is exactly what I'm looking for, and uh, I'm gonna Google how to do that. <laughs> uh, interesting, so uh, what else? Any, any uh, who would you like to partner with if there's someone out there listening that fits that description? Someone who sells uh, taxi top ads or you know I, I looked at partnering with uber and the reason I wanted to partner with uber is because uber has the same business concept is to basically take the model of taxi cabs offer and give it to the public right, right. to drive people around and just offer that service to the public so they can use their own car to drive around what I do is offer the public to use their own car to drive around with an add on their car just like the taxi car would so you got your taxi top ad now it's available to everybody that drives a normal car so with that mentality I thought let's partner with Uber who has the same mentality and how they made that work and be so successful so I reached out to the general manager of Uber and he's yet to return my phone call but that's kind of the person I'd like to partner with is someone who has the concept of understanding how to take that business model and just transfer it to the general public, uh, or someone who has got the knowledge in selling advertising, outdoor media advertising would be perfect. Yeah, 
I don't know. I'm, I'm certainly no expert at dealing with big, massive corporations, but that that's that's a that's a tough nut to crack. I mean, th those companies are so big, and they've yeah. got their own agenda, yep. and they, you know, and just especially being the little guy right now, you know, I, I just don't know how you know a one man guy, a one man deal partners with a ten billion dollar company. Hey, if you and never, if you never, oh hey, it's totally. <laughs> I I commend you for trying. If man. you never ask the question, or the answer is always going to be no. Oh, for sure. I'll always ask that question. One hundred percent, man. And I I, I uh, commend you for for the effort. That's that's very that's awesome. Thank you. Um, you know, but yeah, cause no, I, I struggle with the same thing. I mean, I I really when it comes to like corporate sales and stuff, I don't know what I'm doing. I mean. <laughs> I'm just a guy, you know? Yeah. I'm just a guy with a few ideas, you know? Um, well, that's why it actually comes down to branding. You know, it, it, but it costs a lot of money to brand your business because your branding is no longer just a guy. It's a real business that's got an image, and that right. costs a lot of money to do. Um, yeah. So that, t there, that solves your problem, but it doesn't, it doesn't solution. It's not a solution only because you don't have the money to create the True. solution. True. True, but it's obviously, you know, I mean, branding is, is very important, but I, I think, too, one thing, you know, you can brand yourself and portray yourself as, you know, bigger than a one-man deal, but at the end of the day, you know, it's still hard to overcome that in terms of, you know, once people do a little digging, they're going to know whatever. Well, that's a good whatever. thing to, to Google is how to not look like a one-man show. And I've learned that I always use the words we. You know, we will be there tomorrow, or we'll be on the call. Well, it's just you, you know? Our team. Our team. <laughs> Our team is looking forward to working with you. Our entourage. <laughs> Our entourage will be there shortly. <laughs> the accounting department will handle that. Yeah. Meanwhile, you have seven different email addresses with... Um, <laughs> they all go to your they team. They all go to you. <laughs> Hey man, you gotta do what you gotta do. That's right. I love it. Yep. Yep. So and right now we're figuring out how to make a one-man shop seem like a big, big company, a huge, forty-person growing operation. Yep. So. Yep. Very yeah. cool. You gotta start somewhere. Absolutely, man. This is it. This is the struggle. The struggle is real, people. I mean, this, you know, hey, but you know this what? is real life. We live in America, so we can do it. I know. That's the beauty. And that's what's cool. You know, you actually, you have a real job, you know, a good job uh, that, you, that you're that you doing full time. And yet, you're still, you're trying to go above and beyond that. Doing something, you know, you're not just sitting around watching cable TV. You know, you're making it happen. Right? And, and you know, you're going to have some struggles, some ups and downs. But at the end of the day, you're making it happen. You're trying to make the world a better place. Yep. And that's pretty freaking cool. I would love to give everybody a check just to put a sign on their car. I would love that. That would mean that I, I, I made it, you know, to be able to help others and uh, help myself and my family as well. And also, it's um, it comes down to passion. If you're not passionate about it, don't do it, you know. But if you're passionate about it, don't give it up. I could give it up. I could say I'm not doing this ever again. But, you know, then I'd go back to watching TV and that doesn't, <laughs> no. that's so boring, especially TV today. It's garbage. Right. Well, and the thing is, too, though, I mean, you know, you can switch your passion from one thing to another. I mean, just because, you know, let's just say that this didn't work out for some reason, you know, you could have a period of downtime and then, you know, then you can, you know, maybe find something else that, that reignites that passion and, right. and whatever. So. You know, and I'm not saying at all to, to give this up, but I'm just saying if that you know that's that's a reality of of possibility. Well, it's it's a learning process, and whether yeah. I use that what I've learned for this project or another project, Absolutely. because it translates. If someone were to say, "Do you have any experience in outdoor media advertising?" Yes, I do. I've learned that. I researched it. I haven't used it for this application, but I've learned from it. I learned something. You learn something from it. I mean, oh, absolutely. And that's the thing. I mean, if you look at, um, you know, 95% of the people that that are successful 
you know, that, that built a million dollar whatever, I mean, most of them had a bunch of horrible ideas first. I mean, I've had a bunch of crappy <laughs> ideas, man. I mean, a lot. <laughs> You know, and I mean, and they're embarrassing. But you know what? The funny thing, yeah, I think that once you get past a certain point, you kind of just realize, who cares, man? Yeah. I mean, yeah. at least I tried. At least you tried. At least you did something. Yep. So, but there are, I mean, I do have a couple of incidents where, like, I actually presented these ideas to people. And then, like, two months later, I'm like, that was the dumbest freaking thing <laughs> I've ever even thought of. I'm so, like, if I see these people, like, at a conference or something, I, like, turn my head and walk the other way. Yeah. I mean, I really should actually just approach them and say, hey, I'm the guy that had that really stupid freaking idea, like, two years ago. Well, uh, I'm sorry for wasting your time. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but anyway, I don't know. It's, it's, everyone's had that, I hey, think. It's, you know? hey, it's, it's past. Exactly. And it's a, it's a learning experience, and that's all that matters. As long as you learn something from it, it's all that matters. It's all that matters, and everyone will respect you for it. Trust me, I'm a little embarrassed that I've been working on this project for a couple of years, a little more than a, f a couple, but hey, I've had my ups and downs, and you know what? I'm learning from it. I'm a little embarrassed to try to bring other people into it with me because I don't want to let them down. So I'm a little, you know, I'm working through that issue. That's my issue. Oh, okay. You no, know? that's interesting. That's, that's... I love, no, that, I love getting real and like figuring out like, you know, what's really going on. Cause you know, when you have these talks, I mean, you can talk about, you can try to put a shine on everything mm -hmm. and make it sound all whatever, but it, that's the interesting stuff. It's like the reality, like, what are you really like dealing with? You know? Yeah, no, that it comes to what I've been dealing with is relaunching it and trying to get every my all of my friends to appreciate it and be involved with it yeah. because they look at me and say, are you still doing that? Right. You know, really? Yeah. And it, and, and it, they lose faith and, you know, they, uh, you know, it's tough. It's tough to say, yeah, I, I am working on this still and I want you to help me with this or I want you to be part of it. And they look at you like, dude, I don't, uh, you're crazy. Yeah. And um, so it's difficult to overcome that because it's, it's like it's a little bit embarrassing i'm embarrassed to know that i'm still yeah i'm still doing this and uh so i have a different approach you know i'm trying not to waste people's time you know i i realize the nuts and bolts of the business is the cash flow not getting your friend to, to like you it's about cash flow selling the, the program to a stranger and yeah. uh, going from there is well, hey, man, it has been uh, fun catching up with you and hearing about your story. Absolutely. Uh, we are pulling into the Tesla supercharger right now. There it is. So let's uh, wrap this up. So where, um, if people wanted to get a hold of you, would they, is it signoncar.com? It or? is signoncar.com, absolutely. Okay. You can see uh, our webpage there, YouTube videos, social medias, whatnot. All the social medias. All that's there. Signoncar.com. Nice. Well, thanks so much, man. Appreciate it. All right. It. Good to meet you. See you again. Yeah, yeah. Meet you. See you. Whatever it is. All right. Let's grab some food. What do you say? Okay.